Hmm. Wish there was some other way I could do this without having to walk in front of a camera. Uh -huh. I'd like to have some kind of remote. But what I wanted to show, old and crackadated, very crackadated, but what I wanted to show is what I actually did to rehab my fingers. I used this finger and this finger to operate the drum because my hands were basically useless. Uh, took a while before I could actually get the finger to actually operate. If I had to pick something up, I had to cradle it with both hands. Uh, and all that was after getting poisoned by that bottle of water, which I don't know what it had in it. It was something like acetone. I'd use this finger and this finger, and then I'd use these fingers, and then I'd use these fingers. And eventually they got where they'd operate. I couldn't I couldn't even hit the drums and make them react. trouble with these two fingers and on the guitar that's that's the two that would give me so much trouble uh, couldn't use them at all but just by doing this with the drumstick I got them to work so this this was the best rehab to be able to get back to playing the guitar It took a long time to get them to work. Uh, it was, I don't know. I worked probably two years trying to get my hands to work. Uh, I could grab the drumsticks like this, but I couldn't, couldn't make any action with them. And basically what I was doing is just getting the wrist to where they would turn. And then like that, because I couldn't control my fingers. So 
that's all I had to begin with. But just getting the wrist to turn. So all those kind of different things, not drumming, but just trying to get a movement out of something. Uh, but eventually they started working. I know I'll never be able to drum like I used to or play the guitar like I used to. But it's better than nothing. Uh, at least I can make some chords and do a few notes, but on the guitar, my note memory is gone. I, I just can't get my brain to work with my fingers right. But these things happen to people, and you just do the best you can. And I've got channels now on two different mediums uh, and uh, I'm still working to try to get back some semblance of playing but I know the reality is I'll never be able to play like I did four or five years ago and just when it disappears all of a sudden that is such a shock that just I didn't know what I was going to do. Music was my relaxation. Uh, and singing, this hoarse voice of mine, I didn't have that before the water burned my vocal cords and my esophagus burned my stomach, my intestines, everything's messed up. And as usual, I'm always in a situation where I can't get compensated for anything. <laughs> That's my look. That's the reason I say if it can, it will. And that is usually what happens. If it can, it will. And old and crackadated, uh, I'll put this video up just by itself, I guess, because I uh, just wanted to explain a little bit about what's happened to me and the struggle I've had with rehab. Of course, my, my tongue and my upper lip are still in bad shape. I can't, sometimes I can't talk good at all. But it is what it is. Old and crack days. If it can, it will. And it probably already has. I just hadn't discovered it yet. I just hope this thing has been recording all of this and hadn't shut off. <laughs>